you asked me if it would make me sad? Yes. Do I think it would hurt the downtown? Yes. Do I think it would hurt more than the downtown? Yes. Bentley's had a reputation for everything beginning on New Year's Eve through all the seasons. Uh, it was a fun place to be. Uh, Mr. Creech and the others that ran the place were just delightful citizens and everybody liked being there. Uh, I would take some people out in connection with the Barnard General Store and ask where you want to go? Bentley's if we can. Yeah. It's, a, it's a landmark and it will be missed. I'm totally startled. We need them. They are uh, a restaurant that's been here a long time and uh, we'll miss them if that's the case. So sad for the locals. Where are we going to go for a cocktail? And for the, the tourists. It's a great place to eat. It's really boopy. <laughs> Yesterday after work, at one o'clock I went in and they were jam-packed with people. Um, and we didn't know that it was gonna close until we saw the paper in the windows. I'm really sad to have it happen. I hope that I hope that they're going through a process that means they're going to just reorganize and come out the other side in the next month or so. Um, but I think everyone, you know, Special Olympics will be in town this week and um, you know, it, it's it's a loss. Yeah, and as I said, I hope for Bill and Dave that that and the whole community that we come out the other side and, and Bentley's opens up again um, as we know it or as close to it was as we know it. A bit of a shock. I mean they have been a, a landmark for a very long time <laughs> and since the 70s. Well I think that we all have to look at, at the economy and um, that we really need to support our local businesses whatever they may be. Um, whether it's having lunch at Bentley's or shopping at your local pharmacy and bookstores, that they are vital to our community and the vibrancy of our community.